I think what we've established is a lot of our core business and existing parts that we've done for years um, is very suitable for a machine like the MX330. Gareth, we're standing in your unit in front of a massive H Plus 300 machine. Why did you purchase this? The purchase of the H Plus was uh, primarily driven by um, us undertaking a new project for an existing customer where the demand in number of parts, amount of time, spindle cutting time that we needed to commit to the project was certainly more significant to anything we were used to undertaking and we were looking for a machine that could offer the most use of unmanned machining time so that we didn't have to tend to the machine with operators every hour of every day. You have other machines uh, here but this is your first pallet changer so what was the difference between the two? Absolutely yeah our first, this, was, this really was our first step into automated pallet changers and, and unmanned production and the difference between the two really was our ability to, to maximise most of the hours in the day on unmanned production, not needing our operators and engineers to, to man that machine. That sounds like a lot of hours and Absolutely, a lot of time yeah. that the machine is running. Is it reliable to be running all that time? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Once we've done our, our sort of daily maintenance routines, the, um, yeah, the spindle is happy to cut at you know, 90, 95% of available hours. So you've got no worries about that, and I guess that's why you purchased this other machine behind us as well. Absolutely, yeah. I think we'd we'd proven with the purchase of the H Plus that it was very reliable on on running during those unmanned periods, and it gave us the confidence to start looking at how we could use what we'd learned from the H Plus and apply that across many other of our, of our products that we were doing on conventional machines and hence the purchase of the MX330. Yeah, so talk about different parts. I see yep. you've, you have got different size parts. How easy is it to be able to pick and choose what parts go on this machine? I think what we've established is a lot of our core business and existing parts that we've done for years um, is very suitable for a machine like the MX330. We spend a lot of time up front designing and manufacturing our own work holding solutions to make the most of uh, the working envelope of the MX330 and maximize how many parts per run we can get from each pallet and again creating um, at least anywhere between 12 to 16 hours of unmanned production. Yeah, um, yeah, so you're still continuing to go and it's a yep. five axis so yep. it means you can do three axis work, four axis work, five axis, full five axis or yep you can put lots of three axis parts on there to be able to utilize all that time that you can get on that machine. Absolutely, yeah. We, we predominantly predominantly use the MX330 for kind of positional work. So it's, a, it's um, our ability to machine multiple faces within the same setup. And our focus really is, is, like I said earlier, is getting the most parts off per cycle within that unmanned period of time. You three axis and four axis over the three road. Three axis and four axis. Over Why? There, yeah. What? What has happened now that you've bought a fifth axis? Um, oh, it's completely changed our outlook on all the machine parts that we do. Um, really versatile. Are you working in different industries in this company? Because that means you'll be working with different materials and everything like that. Yeah, I mean, we try to keep the H plus predominantly on aluminium. There are a few stainless jobs that we do for the oil, oil and gas companies. Um, but aluminium is one of our main material groups. Has it cut down your cycle times as for, for your customers? Um, it's certainly cut down on the lead times, yeah, in that we can keep the machine running for 24 seven unmanned, and that's where we really see the benefits from it. Definitely, and you're creating your own work holding as well. To yeah, go all the fixture and bespoke, all designed in-house, manufactured in-house. So how does that help you, meaning you're not sourcing it out? Is it quicker? Um, getting it set up can take a little bit longer, but when you start to get more parts on the tombstones, as you'll see, um, it keeps the machine going for longer. So we're able to, again, use that unmanned element that is so important. So 10 pallet machine, you've got different parts on each pallet. How easy is it to change datum points and work shifts over? Um, we have a lot of the work shifts all set up specifically on the pallets. Um, as far as changing them over, it can take a little bit more time. Um, but when we've got them set up on those pallets, they're all saved into the machine. And if we wanted to cycle through different pallets, um, we simply just turn them on and off on the uh, pallet manager.